Hello Shady Rocks here, welcome to another series of RimWorld. I seem to be chewing through these quite a lot at the moment and really enjoying them. Um, getting into RimWorld as one of my main sort of games at the moment. I uh, hope you guys have uh, enjoyed seeing some of the uh, recent stuff that I've done. Now this is going to be again based around the Arbalest, uh, Arbalest? Uh, the Realistic Research um, mod pack. I'm also going to play with a few little other ones now. Realistic mod pack, you need to have the community core library installed. I've got the vanilla tweaks installed as well, which I believe that's a few little tweaks and fixes. I think one of the things it gives you is the refrigerated uh, hopper, which I have yet to use because as you've, if you've watched it in my previous series, we, <laughs> we don't tend to last long enough to use all that. I've got EDB mod order, which um, you tend to, with a lot of these mods, you need to put your mods in a certain order, like core at the top. And it doesn't play nicely sometimes if you don't have them in the right order. So I've got that one. I've got my corpse fire generator, which does what it says in the tin. It's a generator fueled by corpses of your enemies. I've got brain mod. I thought this might be quite interesting. This is a modifier which lets you, uh, you can use brain mod to gain heat tolerant traits. So, ooh, that sounds interesting. Uh, trade request caravan. Uh, this gives you the ability to request people to come and trade. Uh, seems pretty, seems pretty sweet. You can you can add sort of require. Well, not you can add requirements. You can see what requirements they actually have. So, you know, if for instance, you know, you're low on, uh, I don't know, say steel, you can look at the uh, trade request list and find a village that has lots of surplus steel, and then you can go, oh, I've got lots of cotton. Come visit, and I will trade. Okay, that's pretty good. And and it became a store where apparently is some uh it's like some custom music. So let's have a little bit of new Rimworld music. So that's what I'm gonna be playing with now. I'm gonna create a new world. I'm gonna do four hundred by three hundred. Now I was reading on a, a forum about a good seed. I don't know if they were trolling, but they did say to use the seed name Rimworld. So let's generate a world and see. Okay. Um, I don't know why that's particularly good. It's like a mishmash of all different uh, areas. So I'm going to do save and finish and we'll do new colony. Now, last time, if you watched my last video, I did a new colony. I think last time I did, a, I did Cassandra Classic, but I didn't do nice. Now, a nice, apparently, there's extra lines on it, if you see. So she only counts population and the wealth value of buildings instead of all wealth and so i don't know if that's maybe why i was getting ridiculous amount of raids but i'm gonna go for jack arbiter nice i'm going on rough again and that's what we're gonna go on so let's choose the uh, world just created there we go okay now i have a problem with heat and i have a problem with trees so for this one we are not going to go I mean, I did actually record a video. Well, I didn't record a video. I was playing this the other day, uh, getting a little bit of experience of a couple of the mods. And I did choose, I thought, ooh, I'm going to play a hot environment. I went to an extreme desert and the heat wasn't too bad. Apart from, oh no, there was no trees. So screw that. We are going in Treetopia. So we're going to go, I think I'm going to go in temperate forest i don't freeze in um growing is the only thing that's going to really sort of screw me up so Ooh, i've not seen that before year round growing it's not freezing yes i do like that and we shall go there so straight away incapable of none gay you like false arms and stuff Good at construction, good at crafting. Welcome to the team. NG again, nice. Um, what's this one? 51 years old. Yeah, good animal tamer. Incapable of crafting, no. Do not want. Okay, 46 years old, incapable of none. You're beautiful. Okay, you're, you're really beautiful. And your sister is Holly. Um... Ah, so that's actually someone that's uh, must be it must be someone that's an external. 
Yeah, faction leader. Well, we have quite interesting they come to visit. I mean, you're okay at medicine. Growing, you're okay. Uh, I've not got a good chef, though. Hmm, you're level two. Everyone is going to be vomiting. What about research? You're research one. And, mm, let's try and get a decent uh, researcher. Researching seems to be a big thing in this game. So I want at least 13 research and an interest in it. I don't know how feasible that's going to be. Find that. Oh, 56 years old. 13 research. You're incapable of a lot of other stuff. You're a psychopath. You're trigger happy. Yes. And with that, we're off. Okay, let's get landed. Let's get our psychopathic research guy on the case. Here we go, London. Okay. Oh, we've started with a, a warg as well. Nice. Limestone framed wall. What is in there, I wonder? So, there's lots of space to dig down there. There's lots of meat everywhere. Yeah. Welcome to the new home. Now, is there any, is there any vents over here? I can see a vent there. Oh, is that another, uh, there's another interesting little, another little interesting bit in there. So let's go ahead, start uh, allowing all this. Let's find who's good at shooty shooty. You, get the gun. Okay, next in line, get the pistol. Okay. And you can have the stabby stabby knife. Okay, allow all these food. Well, yeah, allow the food. Now, where's the components and wood? Down here. Balaboom balabing. Um, I might actually, I think I'm going to build the, I've got a lazy ass room built there. So let's go ahead and put a uh, stockpile down. Um Ooh. That'd make a nice little nice little room there for us. There we go. And structure. Can't do walls just yet, so let's go ahead and do a production we want. Steel research bench. And none of these. I like the sort of place where I think there's going to be a little bit of a shape of a room already, but none of them are at the moment, but that's going to do. Worker lacks tools. What is wrong with you? It's like, oh, bless. Poor little lamb. You've not got the right tools. All right, we're getting all that stuff all down there. Get researching. Okay, right, so work, manual. You are researching and nothing else. And let's get the foundations built. Let's get a crafting spot up and running. That wog doesn't sound happy, does he? Okay, and we also wanted to get some uh, grow zones set up. Um, we've got at least we're not going to run out of trees on this. This is just a ridiculous amount of trees. Um, yeah, we'll do a grow zone there. We might be a bit screwed with yeah stuff like that going on. We're trying to chop trees down without the correct tools yet, but. I think you're going to pretty much get that researched really quickly. So let's just concentrate on getting all this stuff hauled. Yeah, as you can see, they've not got the basic tools at the start. So you're essentially punching trees like in Minecraft. And it takes a while. Go on, get that tree. There you go. Okay, one thing we've not done yet. Why have we not got beds? I'm going to try to space these out. I don't know if that makes a difference about them all complaining about beds. Well, complaining about sharing a room, I mean. 
probably it probably will like make no difference whatsoever. Okay, that's the basic one done. Let us go next for. Let's go for construction. So let's do production, crafting spot. Okay, let's do it next to there. Let's do a couple of. And we want to make basic tools and arrows because. I always seem to run out of um, arrows in this, so let us give, let's make a stack of 100, 105, that'll do. Okay, we're getting the tools, now we need, let's do a spare one as well, we need lots of tools. Gonna help with chopping trees down, mining, all the stuff. There we go. We're all grabbing the tools. Whoa, what's Engie doing? <laughs> oh, what's he doing? I really don't know what was going on there. That was quite amazing. It was like pinball. Now, have you got tools? Because. You've not. I'd like you to wear the tools. There you go. You can go and chop trees down now if you want. Or you don't have to. Right. We're going to wall this up. There we go. I'm going to wall this up as well. I don't know how big to make this, so... I'm guessing I've got my crafting table and stuff in the way, so let us. Let's just do it all the way over to the top. And cancel that bit. Hold him. There we go. Now, I know at the start of this game, one of the things that I hate is them all moaning so let's just straight away let's just do some rooms so we're doing that six by six which i'll that'll mean that it's one two three four five by one two three four five let's try that five by five i mean that's pretty that's a big ass room i normally i used to go for four by four but i think i'm a bit a bit too a bit too shady with them Probably what? Why have I put a wooden fence there? Really? A door is what I want. Now and also, I'm a pleb. I've done a back wall there. There's a wall there already. Oh, it's gonna be one of them days. You have to bear with me while I'm doing math. Um. Wow, I'm the worst at planning out these rooms. I don't mind admitting that. Uh, how on earth is that going to work? What am I... I mean, you're going to have to go in that room to get in that room. <laughs> oh dear. You could just ne never invite me around to build, build your home. I mean, I did actually see a mod called uh, Blueprints, which looks quite interesting, which um, gives you the ability to, you know, you can... I've done it again. Am I literally the worst designing pleb on the face of this planet Earth? Yeah, anyway, back on, back on target. Yeah, the uh, mod is talking about Blueprint. You can basically get a room like that, populate it with a load of stuff, and then you highlight it. And you can copy that room layout to a um, like a blueprint. So then you can then go ahead and go, hey, I want to build bedroom. I want to build crafting area. Whatever you've called the the name. So I thought that's pretty uh, that's pretty interesting. Might be uh, worthwhile uh, a little look see. I've not actually got it installed on this playthrough, but 
something I might uh, I might have a play around off off the uh, recording and then maybe look into doing it. So furniture now. I've got terrible beds at the moment, so I want to go and get ahead and get some grow zones put down. We've got one there. We've got potatoes growing on that. We've got to chop all the trees down first, though. There we go. Slowly getting all this stuff done. Now I've got another crafting spot there. Make another bag. Perhaps I'm making a couple of them. We're going to need more arrows as well. Make sure everyone's doing stuff. Yep. I'm going to do temporary sleeping spots and all of these. Okay, next research item. Um, do you want complex cloth? Complex. I can't speak. Complex crafting. Um, we can do the crafting table, which I assume will be faster at uh, building stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to assign all these to our colonists. So there we go. Now, who's the pet bonded with? So... Look at our social. Who are you? Yeah, that's Angie's dog. So let's put the animal sleeping spot in there. Let's sleep with your lovely wag. In fact, we're going to train that. Let's see if we can make it rescue and haul. Actually, that's going to be good at everything, isn't it? So let's do release as well. Okay, we've got five meals, which isn't really an awful lot. We seem to have an awful lot of trees in this room, so let's uh, get rid of them. Potatoes are getting put down. Um, we've not really got a dedicated uh, plant cutter at the moment. I'm not really got anyone that's that really good at it, so let's make you our dedicated plant cutter and you can be our dedicated constructor. I mean, we're pretty short of wood anyway at the moment, so nothing's going to get made too quickly. So let's have a little scout round. We want some more packaged meals. Let's zoom right out, see if we can spot any more. It's a good way if you're looking for uh, meals and stuff. It's always good to zoom out. Same with a lot of things like geezers. There you go. You can see, look, we've got one there, one there, one there. Uh, you, you tend to, as you play it, sort of, you end up learning where, well, not learning, you end up recognising stuff from a high up view. Uh, hopefully this translates when this gets rendered and it doesn't look potato quality. Um, okay. Lots of tree chopping going on. Now, I think I might make this a little sort of... Uh, I don't know if it actually... If you, if any of you guys know, does it make a difference if you have them eating outside or not with uh, the uh, the tables? Because I don't actually know if it makes a difference if you eat indoors or outdoors. So let's go ahead and put a... Let's put a table there. I'm going I'm going everything as wood at the moment. So there's the table. There's the... The king and queen at the top of the table there. Let's stick our joy steel horseshoe that pin down as well. That can go randomly there. Okay. Stuff getting built. Nice. Our storeroom now has a roof. Right, so we're going to need food. So I think we're going to have to go and uh, in the face shoot some of these deer. Um, there is some meals over there, which let's find someone who's not doing any particular at the moment. NG, go and haul all these. Okay, don't haul all these. There you go. Should be a few more days worth of food there. Let's see how many we got. I 
Okay. Information. You can open help for miscellaneous colonist group. I believe that is the the way you can group colonists to define them into positions. I think that probably it sounds like that'd be pretty good if you're under attack if you've got a particular position to want to go. Now I've only got five meals there, so we are gonna want a a bit of a production area going with food, so mmm. I think I'm gonna go for grill at the moment. Let's get a grill. Let's get a charcoal pit. Let's make it happen. Now we've not got that production thing I talked about just yet, so um still researching that at the moment. We do need to put a butcher's table down now. So I think I'm gonna start putting all this stuff in here. Um do it there. Okay, research crafting. Nice, we can build a crafting table now. Pause it. Uh let's go for the next planter license so I can make some uh cotton make. I can plant cotton strawberries. Now one colonist is idle. Pyra, so why are you idle? Oh you can't actually plant cut. Hmm. Not an awful lot you can do. Taylor Smith. I can, you can craft though. You're not a bad crafter. Well, actually, wait a minute. You should have stuff to do anyway. You've got research to do. Get researching. Okay. Let's make charcoal. 75. We'll just make a bunch of that. Let's do until we have... It's bunches of 75, so let's just stick it at 10 and, and see what how many it actually makes. Uh, we want to stick this grill on grilled meat forever. Do vegetables forever. Uh, in that case, we're going to need something to actually harvest. So there you go. Get some berries. Okay, should be able to get some back food off this. Failed harvest. Well, screw you. Oh, cool. Plenty of meals. What? There's so many meals. This is just like Fallout and I've just found all the hidden meals. Why is that stuff not hauled? That's what I want to know. Right. You carry on planting. Get the potatoes put down. There we go. Got all that hold. Nice. That needs refueling. So let's have a little look at our chef. So at the moment for our chef we've got you, which you can't have you as a chef. We can have you as a chef. You've got a skill level of two. Wow. So NG is going to be our main uh, cook. Um, hmm, you're our main constructor as well. Okay, let's um, make Ketsu a hauler as well as a uh, plank cutter. So here we go. You are hauling. You're hauling anyway. Nice. There is some medicine you need to haul as well. So if you could get right on that. Okay, you're going to bed instead. Okay, now. Let's just get this walled off. That's going to be a... Um, eventually it's going to be a production stroke food eating area. So eventually I'm going to be able to make... Um, I'm going to refrigerate it and all that. Skidaggle. Skidaggle? Is that even a word? Okay, let's stick it on full speed. I'm going to put manager on. Okay, and we want trees. 
Give me trees. Okay, yes. 500. Manage. Thank you very much. And just because we're putting that down, we're going to need to put a manager's desk. Oh, I'm going to use steel. I don't really see the need for that being anywhere but outside. Uh, crafting table. Hmm. Should I put my craft... I don't want to waste a crafting table by putting it inside. I don't like putting stuff inside because it takes so long to actually move stuff, but I can see the advantage of putting it inside. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put it inside. Okay. What is our planet? Uh, our planet? What is our colony going to be called? So this is going to be called... This is going to be a tribute. So it's called... The village of, I can't spell, the village, I still can't spell, why am I typing that in, the village of the strapped, so if you don't know who strapped is, watch that last series, and you'll see towards the end, he met an unfortunate end with a um, deadfall trap, so that's us named, we're eating, we're fed, we're building. Life is pretty wonderful. Your hall in medicine, good. What are you doing? Okay, we've researched a basic planter license, which now means we can make strawberries, cotton and flowers. Nice. Let us go ahead and I'm going to go for complex crafting, I think. Means I can make sandbags out of cloth or bedding for real beds. I think we need real beds, so... Let us go ahead and do a new grow zone. And this is going to be our cotton. Let's do... I don't know how big we need it, really. That's probably going to be too big, but hey. It will do like that. So, cotton, 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 cotton. There you go. I'm not too concerned with food at the moment because we've got quite a lot of supplies and I'm going to, going to shoot the face out of all of those in a little bit. We just need to get our crafting table built. Ooh, and also... Managing! You can't be our manager because you're researching. You can be a manager. You've got a real interest in it, so... Go ahead and assign you. Nice. Let's see if you actually go and do any... Uh, managing... Here we go. Let's see. Are you going to do a manage and make us do stuff? We will see. Nice. Yeah, so see, straight away. He assigned the uh, tree to get chopped down. And another one here. So they're going to keep chopping trees down at various points until we've actually got 500. Okay, we've got a visitor. A medieval farm oath named... Cahuela Lucas is being chased by a tribe's people from Camaro Albio. He begs for you to join your colleague. He's 51 years old. Um, Yeah, we need as many people as we can at the start, so let's offer him safety. Okay, so he is coming in over that way. So I need... Let us make, quickly make a short bow. Okay, have we got enough wood to make this? I think we have. Not got any defences. Let's check out how many is coming. There's only one person coming. And they've got a wooden spear, so. That shouldn't be a problem. Nice. Right. Now, Lucas. You're getting chased at the moment, so let's go ahead and give you that bow. I'm going to start doing fences in a little bit. We've got a little bit of a head start. 
You're new to the colony, so you can defend the colony. So here we go. Get that bow. Right. Get the arrows. Right. Get outside. Now, who are you going for? Ketsu. Oh, but you're not. Get Ketsu inside. Okay. Get shooting. Let's see. Let's see if you can defend your honor. Oh. Not quite. Right. Retreat. Uh, I don't want to waste my ammo, but I've got no choice. So you come over here. There we go. <laughs> nice. That was a good shot. Alright, undraft. 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 Now, we've got a spare room here. Hmm. Let's make that prisoners. And we're going to capture you. Nice. He brought some food as well. So I think that's a good point there. 31 minutes in. I'm going to pause it there. So... That's it for this uh, introduction uh, episode. We're squirreled away in the corner. Hopefully, this is going to be a glorious uh, series, and we are going to take to the stars. So, as long as we don't run out of food, wood, and stuff like that, we'll be good. So, uh, any comments or queries, any, anything about this mod, or anything about RimWorld in general, don't forget to leave us a comment. And I love uh, hearing from you guys. Um, I'm picking tips off you guys as well as I'm playing, which is which is awesome because th this is one of those games it's just that complex the yeah you can't know everything in it and it's it's really good to uh get a little bit of interaction from you guys and hear how the series is going so uh as always thanks a lot for all the subs uh, i've had so many uh subs lately i think i'm nearly at 500 now which is pretty unbelievable um uh so you know thanks a lot for that and also as well i hope you guys like the new uh channel art i've got if you've not seen it before go and go and check it out it's a bit of uh, rim world uh theme so uh that's it for this video i'm shirley rocks this is rim world and i'm signing out <laughs>